Welcome everybody. Have you ever been called on a gig to make tens of dollars only to turn around and spend all that money on instruments that you need for that gig? Well, welcome to this week's Build It Fix It, where today we're going to be making $200 Quikas for about $7. So hopefully you'll get a lot out of this. Again, this instrument could cost about 200 bucks. You could make one that'll totally suffice for any orchestra gig, anything that you need to do to get by as a working musician for around $10. It's gonna save you a ton of money and it's gonna be great. So here we go. Started. What you're gonna need for this, like we talked about earlier, we're gonna have two buckets here. One's your normal one gallon paint bucket and then this one is kind of a weird one. Both of them I got from Home Depot. This is more kind of like that old school vibe to it. But the reason why I picked it up is because the bottom of this is actually a little more bendy than the bottom of this. We want to stay away from our plastic buckets because they don't have any give or reverb at all. So I'm excited to see what we can get out of these two. Then we're going to have this. This is a dowel rod you can pick up at Home Depot. This is 3 16 of an inch. It's the smallest one that they make there. It's got a really good really good wiggle to it, so it'll be able to vibrate as we pull back and forth along the rod. We also picked up my favorite, Gorilla Glue. It's super great, it's super strong, and we don't have to really worry about things falling apart on us with it. Lastly, you're gonna need your power drill with a 3 16 inch drill bit on it. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and start constructing the first part of our Quikas. First thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take my drill bit that's 3 16 of an inch, and I'm gonna drill out a hole that's in the center of both of our buckets. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and properly attach my drill bit to my drill and then we'll be good to go. I'm gonna do a rough fit. That's looking good right there. That's what we wanna see. For the next bit, we're gonna go ahead and cut our dowel rod down to size. There are two different ones. Sometimes people have it where it fits inside of the container itself and then other people have it coming out a little bit. We're gonna do one of each. This one will be inside the container and this one is gonna be coming out. Once we have both our dowel rods cut, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one, I'm gonna insert it through the bottom and then have it stick out just a little bit on the other end like that. I'm gonna go ahead and bust out my Gorilla Glue. Like I said before, this stuff is amazing. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna do a dab on the outside to go all the way around the base of the dowel rod, just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the inside. Now I've got one dab on the outside, one on the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and lay that over here and let it dry. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my other Quika here. There we go, so now, Dry time on this is one to two hours, and then I would wait probably 24 hours before using it extensively. So let's go ahead, get some shedding done, and we'll be back. Okay, we got some practicing in, and now these are dry. So, one thing to note, I put this one resting upside down to dry, and what it did is it actually got a lot of glue on my wood dowel rod here. So I wouldn't suggest doing that. I'd let them dry this way. But as you can see, the tops there are buttoned pretty well and the bottoms are in there, so all that's left is to test them out. Well, so as you could tell from testing it out with my wife, one of these is high and one of them is low. The reason why I really like going with the one gallon is you can get that authentic squeegee sound. Or you can go lower. So I had to make this when I was playing Austin Powers and I had to play the Quika part. That booty dooty 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 I had no clue that was a Quika, but I had to go. Totally worked. Everyone bought it. The little brass player turned around. He said this one sounded louder and more crazy than the traditional one that the other guy bought that was over 200 bucks. Then, if we go with our lower pail, again, you could call this a bass quika. Maybe. Why not? That's how low it gets. This head is a little thin. 
guess if I apply a lot of pressure on the center, I can get that high pitched squeal, but it's just so much easier from the one gallon bin. Awesome. Well, guys, congratulations. You just made a quick up for under 10 bucks. Go out there, get those gigs, play them hard. Stay safe. We'll see you out there.